What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, this is gonna be my number one Vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas to be indicated by Christmas hat. <laughs> I'll be able to do a Vlogmas as, as some people have asked. I don't have time. I'm extremely busy and I'm a full-time personal trainer and I coach myself and many other people. So I'm, I'm really busy with online coaching as well, my app and everything like that. And you know, quite frankly, I put in, <laughs> sometimes I put in so much effort, like my last video took me like eight hours that I didn't have and it got 2000 views. So as you can imagine, sometimes it gets like a little bit frustrating when you put that much time into a video and it, it, it's irrelevant. And then some of the videos that I throw together really fast get more views and but then I think because it's such a crappy video people are like I'm not going to watch that again and then they don't realize that I've put a lot of effort into another video anyway it's this whole thing um but for me like I don't get make any money from YouTube or anything like that so it's like I'm doing this off my off my own back so I won't have time to do multiple videos but I am doing I'll just do what I can just because sometimes I enjoy filming things for you guys and there is you know there is still 2,000, but still more than no thousand people watching. Today I'm going to do BFR because that was a, f a few people requested BFR and one of my clients cancelled this morning, so that is why I've got the space to do it uh, while the gym is still not open. So I'm going to do BFR arms. I hurt my leg last week. I smashed my shin into something and I still can't walk. It's been a week. <laughs> Should probably get that scanned. So I'm going to do BFR upper body. Um, I explained so many other times on this channel slash on my Instagram what BFR is so I don't feel like I need to go through that with you guys and if you were, uh, don't know what BFR is or what BFR does I will just leave a link um, so you can just look it up yourself. I'm not going to do the whole thing again. It's an extremely effective way to train under light load and in a very short time. Like me, I'm going to get this done in 20 minutes. I'm going to get a sick upper body pump muscular endurance the same as if I had trained with a heavy load for an hour. Specifically for climbing, I think the resistance to be able to fight through a low um, blood flow state and to still get reps in, that's kind of likened to getting like super pumped on the wall and still being able to move. Um, so I'm going to do biceps and triceps with a little, there'll be like a little bit of chest in there. So boom, let's go. It's charged. You guys know I use only Saga so I know exactly how much blood is being cut off and what time, all those safety precautions, even though I am BFR certified, so I know what I'm doing, but I feel like if anyone else is gonna use BFR, you should only use ones which actually tell you the amount of occlusion. So you can see those green lines, that's how much battery I have. Proceed with two cuffs, mine are already calibrated. Um, soon as I'm doing arms, I'm only gonna go like 72, 72, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna go with 72 mmHg. Yeah, so I could go a bit higher, but it um, will make it much, much harder to curl. I'm gonna start with biceps, so I'm just gonna start with bicep curls. Go with my 20, 20, 20 protocol today, so 20 reps. It already hurts. <laughs> I just take 30 seconds rest. So I'm gonna go three sets, 30 seconds. I'm not gonna show you everything. But obviously, seeing as though the blood is being cut that way, <laughs> the muscles down here are gonna be the best to train. Although research has shown there is still some effect to where the blood is not being restricted there. So biceps, triceps, forearms are definitely a really good one to do under BFR. So that's kind of what I'm gonna to follow today. I'm on to my final set. I'm really pumped, like really pumped. This way, hammer start. So if it gets too much under BFI, you can always like just take it down a little bit so you can get your reps done or lighten your load. 
it honestly feels what I love about BFR arms is it does feel like that feeling when you fall off like a really hard boulder and like you're so pumped you can't really close your your hands properly biceps done I'm gonna go into triceps I'm gonna do I want to keep my arms down so I'm gonna go kickbacks Mine's actually like horrendously weak because of my elbow break. Excellent. Ah. All right, let's get some um, forearm involvement. I'm gonna do some Zoshimans to train the bicep and the forearm. So bicep curl, switch it, down, that's gonna hit that extensor, twist. Ow. All right, 20 of these bad boys. Oh, it's full on, man. Oh, my focus on this camera. If I've been out of focus this whole time, I'm probably gonna cry. Uh, it's just a tag. I think my top's also inside out. Oh. I've got one more set. Is that focus out? Servo AF, what is that? Need a new camera, guys. This one's got too much chalk in it. I almost just threw them straight onto my phone. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. Finger curls, essential training. Ah! Still scares me after all these years. Um, essential forearm slash finger training. Let's do it. I've got 40 kilos on this bar. That's probably too much, but I'm not gonna change it. So I'm just gonna like lower my, yeah. It just depends how many reps you wanna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go three sets of 15. If you really like wanna, get some solid endurance gains, put it down to 30, depending on your weight, and then go 30 reps. But I'll, I'll just see how many I can get done. Let's see if it's manageable, because my occlusion is not that much. right for 20 for me. I could put the occlusion up a little bit higher and then go 15. It will just take BFR a little bit too far. It's not more effective if you, you put it to the highest possible setting and um, basically don't get anywhere. You get in five reps in and you can't move. That's not effective. It's effective if you have a pretty good, pretty good occlusion and last your whole 20 minutes nice and steady. So I've got like four minutes left, so I'm gonna just do like a little circuit of pull-ups, tricep dips and push-ups. So I'm gonna go five pull-ups, 20 dry, <laughs> ah, five pull-ups. 20 tricep dips and then 10 push-ups, see how many I can get done in the four minutes.
I got carried away and wanted to get three sets in. Finished workout. So you get like a little dashboard there after. Do it 20 minutes, 21 minutes, bicep, biceps, forearms, fingers, done. Effective, 20 minutes only. I think I feel really pumped and really fatigued, a little bit puffed by the end circuit. So it's just a little bit of an idea of how to get a really good 20 minute session in, which is super climbing specific. Really good for your muscles, really good for your tendons as well. And especially if you do have like an injury or something and can't go super heavy, it's really effective to just go light load. But if I, I'll be doing that for my legs. So, all right, do comment, like, and subscribe and see you in the next vlogmas.